right, dude. All right. All right. And it's another episode. And I don't even sound that loud, but it's because I'm wearing a beanie. And I'm wearing a beanie because it's October 11th and it's fall, dude. It's fall and I'm embracing the fallness. Now, just like the sweater that I had on uh, a couple weeks ago, I, I mean, it's just not going to last on my head that long. It was, it was like, dude, it was cold yesterday, and then now it's not, it's not cold, and my head fucking itches. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm moving, yo, I'm moving slow, man. I didn't sleep at home last night. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I didn't sleep at home, and I didn't sleep well. And you know, you never want to complain about that shit, but it's a, it's a real thing. Like, how did I sleep, dude? Let's, let's look right now. Let's look how let's look what it, what it, what it says that I, I slept yesterday. This is for Saturday. We gotta. All right, it's gonna yeah, it's fucking it's gotta update. All right, whoop, fucking not doing. Here we go. Oh, okay, yeah. S- well, seven hour. Okay, that's not forty percent recovery. Not great. Seven. Okay, honestly, it says I slept decently well. All right, well. Then I'm just, you know, I still don't believe it though, dude. When you sleep at someone else's place, man, why does it always feel like half your brain is awake the entire time? And why do you always wake up with a headache? And yeah, it's not, this, no, no. The, yeah, the beanie, the beanie came off. The beanie came off. My hair probably looks like shit. I don't care though. Um, I don't know. I fuck it, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude. My, my. I'm gonna look like shit today, and that's all right. You know, maybe this is maybe this isn't the episode you guys listen to on YouTube. Um, but yeah, dude, you know, I, I was there. I'm back now. I, it it is beanie weather. It is. I don't usually sleep over at people's places, but you know, this was this was special occasion that I did, and I don't recommend it. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean it's um it's a it's a good thing to do, um, if you're there late, you know. But it's always it's always better to sleep at your place. That's why it's like you know. I don't think it's like this anymore, but there used to be a time where it's like if someone didn't sleep over or you didn't like offer them, they would feel they'd be like offended by it. But it's like, dude, we all know we sleep better in our bed alone than with someone else. And I mean, even when you're in a relationship, dude, in the beginning, you guys get all nice and close to each other. And then when you've become a real relationship and you stop with all the fake shit, you're like, okay, can I just... I'm going to have my side, you're going to have your side, and and we're going to say goodnight, and we're going to say I love you if you guys are there yet, maybe you're not, um, you're going to say you mean, or you're going to say you mean so much to me, or you're going to say, you know, thank you for letting me have sex with you without a condom, whatever, you're going to say whatever you want, and then you're going to kiss, and then maybe you're going to touch for like five minutes after, and then you're going to move to the side of the bed that you want to be at, and not be hot and sweating all night because usually that's what happens. Unless you live in a perfect climate, you're gonna either you're gonna either be too hot or you're gonna be too cold. No, it's not. I mean, the guy's arm, dude. Your arm goes to sleep. The girl's hair is in your face, and that's not her fault, dude. She's got beautiful, thick, luscious hair, dude. Your queen has beautiful hair, but you know where it's not good? Getting caught in your beard or just or you know maybe you have to shave every day dude and you for if you're a guy you get this if you're um a female you don't uh when you have to shave dude that shit gets really like when you get that five o'clock shadow that shit is sharp and it grabs on the hair so that shit will just go onto your face and then not move and so if you're if you're behind the head of any any th- person with long hair, it's going to get all over you. So, yeah, dude. I mean, dude, there's so much to talk about today, which is good. There's a lot to talk about, and I'm happy about that. I'm happy that so much is going on. Um, But I am moving slower. I definitely am. Uh, I'm still excited to be here. Still excited to talk to you guys. One of the best parts of my day. I'm not thinking about anything else, dude. I'm just thinking about you guys, and you guys are just thinking about me, and we're listening to this together, and you guys are sharing the show online, and I really appreciate that, and you're, and you're writing reviews, dude. Yo, I'm going to be straight up with you guys, though. Not enough of you wrote, wrote reviews, dude. And this is not me be, being annoying or being needy. This is me being like, what the fuck, bro? It's my birthday? 
and you still didn't. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna choose to believe that there are a lot of um, there are a lot of Android listeners. I'm gonna choose to believe that. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Um. Okay. Now let's let's see. Um. Where where are they? Uh, I just want to shout out a few people. I think I did last week, but I want I want to do it again, dude. I wanna do it uh, again. Weekly updates. Um, Wheel of Fortune Monkey, Dope Machine sixty nine, Abriana redownloaded Apple Podcasts just for this podcast. Let's fucking go, Abriana. Woo! Who else? Who else is gonna get shouted out? Um, dude, this is so funny. As a Christian, doing the Lord's work, as a Christian Mingle member, I highly recommend this podcast as Dylan is out here doing the Lord's work. Happy birthday, Dylan. Dude, that's, a, that's an amazing review. Thank you so much. That's some funny shit, dude. You guys, write some reviews that are like, that are funny like that. Maybe you put in some shit about the podcast. Some Maybe you put in some shit about, um, I don't know. Do we have that many inside jokes here? Do we? I mean, we have I Don't Fuck With You, okay? We talk about that a lot. Uh, I talked about limbing with Lily, and someone brought that up. Um, you guys could mention pumpkin spice shit. You guys could mention um, Martha. You guys could definitely men- mention Martha Stewart. Um, damn, love it. It's, love, it's, I think this is someone I know. It's Gab. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, shit. Full of bad accents. Damn, that hurts. And I know who wrote that too, because I see your name. That's that's, yep. Laugh and or shut off the podcast. I mean, kind of a weird. This is a weird review, full of bad accents and long rants that make you belly laugh and or shut off the podcast. Highly recommend. I mean, backhanded review, but still good. No, it's a still good one. Um, hell yeah, man. We got a lot of. We got a lot of. You got a, we got a lot of good ones here. Thank you guys so much, dude. Biggest vibes, biggest lols. I like that. Unreal. Every episode is amazing. Yeah, dude. That that's a good shit right there. Okay, that's that's what we like. That's what we like. It feels good. Okay, and you're supporting the show, and that's great. And if you guys haven't written a review, haven't written a review, and then you do write one, send it in. Screenshot it. Show me. And then I go, oh, shit, shout you out, whatever you said, whether, you know, and you might even be kind of talking shit about me like um, this one did, this, 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 this girl Stephanie did. And I know who it is because she put her first and last name in there. I know who it is. And Steph, it hurt a little bit. It's okay, but. You know what? Fuck it, dude. I'd rather be a show that sometimes makes you turn it off than a show that is kind of boring and you don't even really care about. Yeah, that's right. Cause controversy with the show. Um. Yeah. So that's good. Thank you guys for doing that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um. Yo, dude. Guess what I got? Fucking. I got candles, bitch. Hell yeah, dude. I love candles. I fucking... Mm, oh, smells so good. Make the fucking apartment smell good. I'm an adult male who m- wants his apartment to smell good, so I buy candles. And I don't know where to buy candles from. I just went to Amazon and I looked up some different candles and I got them. I don't know if these are good or not. But I know I've seen a lot of people with this shit that says like number 14 on it. Soy candle. And this one's Urban Concepts. And then I got one that's like tobacco, and then one that's um, jasmine. I don't know what ode is, and sandalwood. What's ode? But yeah, dude, I like candles. And if you fucking make what is ode? Oh, it's ode wood. Ode. Tom Ford ode wood. Ooh, I don't. What the fuck? What is ode? Just tell me what ode is. Is it a tree? Ode is a short neck lute. Ode is a short neck lute type pear shaped stringed instrument, usually with 11 strings grouped in six courses, but some models have five or seven. What the fuck? No, that's not what I, that's not what I care about. It's from the Middle East, though. Hell yeah, dude. Culture again. Learning culture. Ode scent. The smell of musky luxury from Fortune. Dude, why can't. What? 
Oh my God. The beloved, the beloved smelly Southeast Asian fruit, one of the most expensive raw scent ingredients in the world. Oh, damn. Very expensive. I got money, baby. No, I don't. Known as Ode or O U D H, it comes from the wood of the Southeast Asian agar or agar aquilaria tree. When the wood becomes infected with a particular type of mold, gross, the tree reacts by producing a dark scented resin, which is often called liquid gold. Ode is used to refer to both the resin saturated wood, the agar wood, as well as the oil distilled from it. Interesting. I'm rubbing my eye a lot, so hopefully you guys aren't watching. One reason ode is so expensive is by its rarity. And by some estimates, fewer than 2% of wild agar trees, or is it agar? Why do they keep saying agar? Wild agar trees produce it. Experts claim that the very best ode comes from the oldest trees, which are even more scarce. Hell yeah, dude. And that's some knowledge that you guys just learned today. You didn't think you were going to be listening to this podcast and be 11 minutes in and then learn about Ode? You had no idea that we were going to go there. But that's why this is a crazy train, dude. That's why this podcast goes all over the place. And you had no idea you were going to learn that. But now you just did. And then now you have a fact to drop on people at parties and shit or just out just anywhere, okay? Maybe, dude, maybe you're going shopping for candles. And dude, these fucking candles smell so good. Maybe you're going shopping for candles, dude. And is this out of frame now? Yeah. Maybe you're going shopping for candles, dude, and you're with someone, and they're like, oh, shit. Uh, that, oh, that one's a sandalwood ode. And they're like, I don't know what ode is. And you go, oh, let me tell you what ode is. Ode comes from the agar tree. Or is it a... I, why do I keep saying it wrong? Is it a gar? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Agar tree. Pronunciation. Isn't it crazy that someone just sits around and makes a pr pronunciations for... How to pronounce agar wood? All right, we got two options. Tell me this is going to be an ad. Agar wood. Ag <laughs> agar wood. I mean, why they... Agar wood. Agar wood. Agar wood. Agar wood. I wish that my voice could sound like that. Uh, agar wood. Agar wood. Agar wood. No, I can't do it because I'm not a robot. Agar. 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 But this person says agar. 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 Agar wood. It's agar. agar. It's agar. It's not a gar. It's agar. Okay, so you're like, yo, it's from an agar tree, okay? That and and it actually happens when mold gets into the tree and the, the tree produces resin that tries to fight the mold. And by the way, did you know that the resin is called liquid gold and it's from Southeast Asia and only two percent of wild uh, agar trees even produce it and they'll be like holy shit are you the smartest person i've ever met and you go hell yeah now buy that liquid gold because it's expensive and it smells good and then you will impress someone dude i'm helping you guys impress people and i'm giving you the fact of the day dude okay the fotd the fodded okay i'm giving you your daily dose of what do I want to call it? The DD, DDO, DDOK. I'm giving you, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, your daily dose of knowledge. I'm giving you your DDoC. Yes. I like DDoC. I like that a lot. It sounds good. DDoC is nice. I'm giving you your DDoC. And that's going to be the episode for the show, a name, name for the episode of the show. And I'm going to write it down right now because a lot of times I come up with a name and then I forget it by the end of the episode. And then I just come up with another name that honestly isn't as good, but, but I'm not going to listen to the entire episode before I release it because I have to do that later on. I really, I literally just wrote down, I'm giving the name instead of saying, I'm giving you your DDoC. Yep. I'm giving you your DDoC. And people are going to think maybe it's about dick, but fucking they're going to listen. And surprise, surprise, it's not going to be about dick. Even though I talk about it, even though I talk about sex a lot, it's not going to be about that. No, I don't want to subscribe to Fortune, okay? I, I got all I need to know about Ode and Agar um, trees. $5,000 a pound? That's a lot. Um... Yeah, dude, but I don't know why I feel like guys 
can have candles. I mean, we definitely can have candles. I just think it's like, why, why, why are candles considered fe like feminine though? I feel like they are considered feminine. So I don't have that candle shit. Why is it? Or someone's like, oh, you're going to set the mood. Well, maybe I just want my apartment to smell good, dude. Maybe I want that. Maybe I want to walk in to the smell of ode and um, sandalwood, or I want to feel like I'm on the beach, or I, I want to I want to smell fresh linen and lavender. I want to walk in. I want, dude. I want to freaking make my nose go crazy, okay? Because a lot of the scents that I'm getting in the city aren't good, or I'm just not getting a lot of scents with my nose. Or maybe it's fall and I want. That pumpkin cinnamon spice, dude. Maybe I want that smell. All right? Maybe I miss my family and I don't, and I'm not going to see them. So that reminds me, I got to buy tickets. Um, uh, shouldn't have said that. Um, and maybe I want to see them. So then I go, you know what? Let me light this candle. It reminds me of home. S you know, scent is the most primal and it's the only sense. And I remember learning this in school. I don't know if it's true, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's the only sense that doesn't get filtered through your neocortex or any of that other shit. It goes straight from your um, whatever the sensors are for your nose. Uh, I can't think of the word for, for smell. Uh, olfactory, right? Maybe? Olfactory. Is it? Yep, sense. Yep, 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 yep. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking my brain works. It goes right from your olfactory receptors or bulb, whatever you want to call it. And then it goes straight to the amygdala, dude. And the amygdala is where you feel emotions, especially fear and shit. But just, um, but just, it goes straight into your fear, your uh, emotion receptors, dude. So that's why a lot of times you can smell some shit and it brings back a memory, dude, or it brings back an emotion. And that's why I got candles. I'm trying to create memories, even, or I'm trying to remind myself of better times. I don't know, dude. I got candles. Candles are fucking sick. Also, they're expensive. Kind of like, I mean, candles are like $25. I mean, <laughs> what? For some soy? But at the same time, I'm not going to make that shit. I'm not going to make the glass. I'm not going to make the the label and I'm not going to make the wick and I'm not going to make the soy and that's all the components of it so I could have just said the candle but I wanted to go through it I'm not going to make any of that shit so maybe it is that's how I think about shit honestly when, it, when I think something's expensive I and I go wow that's really expensive I then think to myself could I make any of that stuff could I make any of the things involved in that that I want um, and if I could, how long would it take me to do that? So how much time is it going to cost me to make this thing? Like, okay, 18, whatever, $20 on Amazon. Honestly, not that bad. The amount of time it would take me to make, to get the glass and then get the soy to make it and to do all this shit, bro, days. You're telling me I'm going to pay $20 for days of my time, <laughs> that's a steal, dude. This candle's a steal. Or like, um, I remember, I, I remember when I was even poorer than I am now. Uh, you'd go to a place and you'd be like, "Wow, this sandwich is so expensive, fifteen dollars." And then I'd be, and the, then someone would be like, "I can make this sandwich at home." And it's like, "But no, you couldn't, dude. No, you couldn't." Okay, you don't have the. You don't have the meat as good as they do. You don't have the good prosciutto. You don't have the good soppressata. You don't have any of those good Italian meats. You don't have great bread, okay? And you don't have the, the meat cutters, those big machines with the blade that always scare the shit out of me, and I always feel like someone's going to cut their finger off when they're using them. Always. I know it's safe, but it always they just take the meat and they just throw it on that machine, and then I'm always just like, are they going to, like, like, it's just a big-ass blade, and you're like, oh, how does it work? How do they not cut themselves? Even though I know there's almost probably no way they can cut themselves, it, and because they always put their hands under it, and you're always just like, dude, I feel like the blade is really close to that. What, like, what is it, like, butcher, um, butcher meat cutting machine? What is it called? Cuisine heavy art duty electric food slicer. 
modern technologies, this t- a 10 minute video on this meat cutting. Honestly, I bet this will be like kind of nice to kind of these guys using a bandsaw to cut meat cutting machine or bandsaw performance on Vedison. What? I mean, what is this? Teach the fuck. <laughs> Going to do a quick video Cheap on the use of the Chinese bandsaw. bandsaw. Butcher up a deer. This is your run of the mill Chinese bandsaw. Why do you have to? Comes in many different. Label it with names. Basically, they just throw their name on it. Why do you have to label it with the race? It ranges anywhere from three hundred to I've seen I think as high as like seven hundred dollars. Uh, I found this one on Craigslist for one hundred fifty bucks. So hey, good for you, dude. Way to steal. It's just gonna be him cutting a piece of meat with a bandsaw. I mean, dude, why am I watching this? Th- now this actually looks dangerous. I mean, the guy's just. I'd be. So- oh my god, dude, this is giving me. Agita, bro. This is giving me anxiety. This is so weird. Why am I, why, this is 108,000 views. Why am I watching this, dude? Isn't that what most of YouTube is, is that you start watching someone and you go, wait, why the fuck am I even watching this? Like, on, and then on the recommended, how to break down a cow, how to butcher a cow, entire breakdown, 7.8 million views. And I'm going to be honest, dude, if this, if we weren't doing the show right now, um, I would probably watch that. Because, I mean, I feel like it, I'm like, I'm never going to do that. And part of me thinks um, if you're going to eat meat, you should be able to watch shit like that. If you're going to eat meat, you should be able to see it go from a full animal down to the hamburger that doesn't look like the animal at all. That's how you should eat meat. Okay? You should be able to know where it comes from, respect that, be okay with it, and then still eat it. That's the problem, dude. We are se- we're separated from the process of how our food is made. Like, we just eat a burger. We just eat, like, even with vegetables and shit. Yeah, we know what vegetables look like. They're not alive in the same sense, so we don't feel as bad about it. But we're, like, separated from that shit. And I think it makes us, like, underappreciate food in general, especially meat. Like, if you see a cow alive, and then you see it being butchered, and I mean, it's it's pretty fucked up, but still. You see it, like, being taken apart and put into the different cuts. It's harrowing, but then at the same time, you go, like, wow, this was something that was alive, and it died. It was killed, humanely, hopefully, and then now, like, I I get to eat it. I think is a better way to think about it. You you go like I get to eat this, and I'm I'm like I'm grateful for this meat for these nutrients for for what this is. You know you, you um you know that it that shit like grew. It, it was from a small and this is probably what why a lot of people become vegetarian or vegan. And I get it. Not me. I'm I still got. I still got that carnivore gene in me, dude. And I don't know if you want to call it being evil, whatever, dude. I watch that shit and I go, great, let's eat. But I respect where it's coming from. I go, this thing grew, it ate, it it like it matured, and then now, after that life, I get to continue living because of this thing. And th- I think that's an interesting way to think about it. Like and this is only this is more appropriate if you're vegan or if you're if you're um if you eat meat if you don't it's a little bit different um if you're eating meat you get to be like you you should think i get to live because this thing died i get to continue living and i'm thankful for that you know i mean but, but, I mean, you can do that with all food, just even in general. You, you, something didn't even have to. Something didn't even have to die, but you can be like, I get to eat this rice because someone picked it and grew it. I get to, I mean, eat this, these Brussels sprouts. These bro- someone had to spend time to do that. I'm thankful that that they did it and I didn't, and then I get to reap 
the rewards of all of their labor. It's very nice. I think when you think like that, it makes you appreciate food more and appreciate life more, which we all need to do right now because it can feel very easy to get very depressed and very dark and bleak and say nothing matters anymore. And did I just get super philosophical and kind of deep and profound? <laughs> yeah, dude, I did. I just put on my philosophical, my philosopher, phil philosopher. Wow. Uh, I just put on my philosopher wig, dude. And I just waxed poetic for you guys. And I remember we said last time that waxing poetic is talking about being verbose and talking too much. But that's not what that's not what I mean when I say it. When I when I say wax poetic, I mean I'm philosophizing, dude. I'm I'm spitting I'm spitting out ideas. Okay, I'm straight spitting right now. But I'm spitting ideas. I'm Nietzsche up in this bitch, dude. I'm Kierkegaard. I'm, there's, I don't know a lot of other philosophers. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. Airplocrates, Air 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 all of them together. I'm Airplocrates. Aristotle, Plato, Socrates. I'm Airplocrates. Now, is that the name for the podcast? Maybe. I'm Airplocrates. Dude, I think I like that. No. Oh, that's that's a good that's a good second one though. That's a good second one, dude. I'm really going off the rails today. I mean, not really. There's been a lot more. There's not that I don't think there's gonna be a rant today. I mean, there's, there's been a lot of mini ones today, but that's still what the, what what was what am I talking about? Um we're already we're already 26 26 minutes in, dude, and we're cooking, dude. We're straight cooking. We got the cast iron is on. Dude, I'm telling I'm gonna tell you right now what's going on. The cast iron is on the stove, dude. All right. I turn that shit up to medium. I let the entire pan heat up so that it's all even. Because a lot of times people turn that shit on and then they immediately throw shit in the throw shit in the pan. And then guess what? The pan's not fully evenly heated up. And so it uh, causes stuff to burn or not cook thoroughly. But dude, I know what I'm doing, dude. I'm I'm I am a vet with this shit. I'm experienced. I turn that shit up to medium. I, I let it I let it all seat up and get all the simmer up and then all the heat is there. And then I threw the oil in for just enough time so that it got hot, not burning, hot. And then I threw the onions in and the garlic, dude. And now we're cooking, man. And then now the main course is going in right now, dude. The meat is going in and I'm searing it and I'm keeping it low so that slow and steady, it cooks it well and but you I mean you start hot so that you sear it and then you and then that's what happens dude. that's what happens with this podcast dude you start hot you sear the sides you flip it over you sear it and then and then you just chill dude and then you just go in and and you just cook it nice and slow all right because that's how you get all the good stuff out of it that's it all the good stuff out of it doesn't make it i sound like the stupidest cook ever but that's how you get it to taste good yeah. Yeah, that's what this podcast is. And you know, at some points there's gonna be a little pop. There's some oil's gonna hit some water, dude, and it's gonna it's gonna pop up. Or I'm gonna throw or gonna, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some other shit in there. I'm gonna throw some garlic in, I'm gonna throw some thyme in, dude. I'm gonna throw some butter in. Okay? Maybe some rosemary. Who knows? Maybe I throw some asparagus on the side and that shit fucking uh, on a different pan, different saucepan. And that shit fires up for a second. And that's five minutes of me talking about candles. Who knows? All right. Yep. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, dude. And we're going to have a new sound drop next week. And it's going to be um, a Martha Stewart Brang at the Donkeys. I wasn't able to put it, have it ready for today because I need a producer. Um, and I wasn't even, you know, big old doinks. I wasn't even smoking doinks. I just was, I'm just like hung over from a sleepover. How the fuck does that happen? Uh, you guys see how Quavo spit game at Saweetie? Saweetie? That's how you say it. Saweetie. This dude rolled up in, in her DMs and hit her with just a snowflake. And then she responded with a cup of noodles. 
And then he said, you so icy, I'm a glacier boy. And she said, what's happening then? I mean, no one, this is a, like, this is really tight, to be honest, that this happened. But also, the whole, like, backdrop of this is none of this would be happening if both of them weren't extremely famous, you know? Like, what, what's so funny is that, so, so, so. Everyone was like, damn, dude, look at Quavo's game. He just sends a snowflake, and then he says, you so icy, I'm a glacier boy. Which, by the way, makes no sense. That makes no sense, dude. It really doesn't make any sense. But but it worked, and then people were like, oh, shit, so I can start doing it. And this is them right now. And Quavo looks like a little kid. Uh, at the, he, dude, he looks so small. I mean, they, they put on some kind of weird filter because they both look, they both look like they have a Snapchat filter on. Quavo looks like a baby in the back, like, hey, uh, like with his, with his henny or whatever is in that glass, um, and like, he just looks like <laughs> it's such a weird angle, dude. This is such a weird angle. He looks like a little kid who's like happy to be. Oh my god, this is so funny. Uh, but I mean, they're happy, dude, and they're together, and it's so funny. So many people were like, fellas, don't get any ideas. You are not Quavo. So cause so dudes just started hitting up girls in the DMs with <laughs> with snowflakes. And the girl was like, <laughs> the snowflake. Uh and then someone was like, he's he's this guy said the snowflake to someone, and then she was like, question mark, and he goes, You so icy, I'm a glacier boy. And she goes, Man, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are so stupid, dude. This is so funny. Just just sending it. And this this is a picture of a guy's DMs. All these girls, just a bunch of snowflakes. I mean, it's just to like famous famous bitches. So I mean, of course, none of them are gonna answer. But <laughs> Some guy sent <laughs> some guy sent it to someone and they go, You want some coke? And he goes, What what why did you just say that? And then he goes, I thought the emoji was for coke. Which by the way, the snowflake emoji is usually for for blow. That or the snowman. But here's the annoying thing about this Quavo shit though. Is that this isn't good game, dude. This isn't good game. This is I'm so famous. People that are super famous can do wild shit and then everyone's like, damn, look at their game. And it's like, no, dude, it's because they're famous. That's the only reason why, dude. You see me pulling up to some random chick, sending her one emoji. First of all, she wouldn't respond. Second of all, if she responded with just another emoji, I'd be like, okay, you know what? That makes sense. And then for me to go, you so icy, I'm a glacier boy. It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense and it wouldn't work. And she definitely wouldn't say, what's happening then? Which, by the way, um, if I pulled up on a girl or if I was DMing her and I said some shit and then she said, what's happening then? I would be like, we did it. I'd be so happy. What's happening then means like, all right, let's, f damn, what's happening then? What's happening? But H-A-N-N-I-N. I love that. But apparently there's more to the story. Um, apparently... This is him in the picture with her again. So apparently, he goes, I seen her on my Explore page. So funny. <laughs> How many people are going to Explore? I like never use my Explore page, but whatever. Uh, who joins us to pick at burgers and fries? This is from GQ. Uh, and I was like, damn, who is this? So I did my research, and I DM her. And I was like, how's she going to call herself Icy, and she don't talk to me? Damn. That is mad egotistical and also why he just sent the snowflake so i slid in her dm he adds i told her you an icy girl you need a glacier boy by the way not what he said um he just i mean maybe that's what he thought in his head she goes he sent me the snowflake says sweetie sawidi and i sent him the stir fry back so apparently um 
right around that time, she had come out with a song. Uh, she came out with a song. Fuck, what, what is one of Sweetie's songs is like about something with with ice. Do you guys hear that music playing in the background? Um, what are her songs? Tap in. But wh- I don't know why. Oh no, no no no! She came out with Icy Girl. Icy Girl. I right, I. Right, right. So Icy Girl had just came out. Icy Girl G R L. People love removing vowels, dude. Um. So she had come out with Icy Girl. So he sent her the snowflake. Okay, that's really loud, right? Yeah, it's outside. There's nothing I can do. Um, so he sent her the snowflake. She sent back the noodles for stir fry, which I guess is the closest thing you could get to stir fry. Because I mean, there's not going to be a stir fry emoji. And then, and then you know, the rest is that this is as they say, is is history. And you know, she was like, "What's happening?" And then he hit her up. And then now they've been dating for two years, and he looks like a little kid in the pictures that they sent. And it's great, dude. And you should not think that you can do that because you are not famous and no one is going to answer you. And then you're going to be a clown. Um, yeah, l- listen, hit me up only if you got Quavo money. Fucking. If I get one more flake in my DMs, you're not Quavo. Let it go. <laughs> Some guy goes, do you have Quavo money? If I had Quavo money, I'd be DMing Yasmin Diaz, not your stupid ass. <laughs> Quavo said, snowflake, and I can't even get a text back. Wow. That's pretty funny. Wow. I mean, dude. It is pretty tight when you're that famous that you can just like do shit like that and people will just respond. You know, like you're, you're just, you have so much clout that just seeing your name, someone's like, I'm just going to keep talking to them. I don't care what they say. Quiva could have been like, I just shitted my pants. And then they go, and she'd go, LMAO, what? <laughs> and then he'd go, yeah, anyway, we should link up soon, girl. And she'd be like, all right, when and where? I swear to God that would work. I swear to God. Want to pick me up from daycare next week? Huh? Yeah, and then he would just go, you heard what, he would literally go, you heard what I said. Pick me up, 3 p.m., I'll be outside. Bring me, bring me juice, please. I sw- and I swear to God, most people would pick his ass up from daycare. And he'd be and he would and he'd be Quavo, dude. He'd be Quavo at daycare. In he'd have his he'd have his grills in and he'd be chilling and he'd be he'd be rapping dude. He'd be writing raps and he'd be chilling with five year olds, dude. And not in a weird way. In a just like he's chilling kind of way. And having a good time with them and shit. And then one of them would be, be picked up by his mom and he'd be like, ah oh, shit, man. He's like, I'll see you soon. And then his girl would come pick him up and he'd be like He's like, all right, man, I'll see, like, I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to finish your coloring pr- homework. And he'd be like, thanks, he'd be like, thanks, Quavo. And he'd be like, he, and, and then he'd be like, keep it icy. And then, and then he'd be like, here's my glacier girl right here. And then he would go and get picked up by her. And she would go, here's your juice. And he'd go, thanks, ma. And then they would drive away. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's what, that's what happens when you're, that famous dude. It's insane how much we care about famous people. Um, hey, you guys want to talk about the psycho of the week? Let's talk about psycho of the week. Um, now this person, uh, and then we're going to end with, uh, we're going to end with some, some nice wholesome shit from the internet that you guys all know about, I believe. Uh, but it just shows that the internet can be good. So this is the show that... Here, here's your psycho of the week, dude. This is the show that... It's not just America that's crazy. Everywhere is crazy. And this is the show that, dude, people are so desperate to be famous or be unique or whatever that they're doing some dumb shit like this. This girl is 
jumping over things like a horse. And she got into Ripley's Believe It or Not because this of it. This is Ava Vogel. Well, Bro. I gallop around and hurdle over obstacles on all four legs. And I try to mimic a horse as best as I can. And she, like the, she already knows what you're thinking. It is a very unique and strange hobby. The 17-year-old began jumping in 2012 after seeing other girls practicing on Instagram. And then over the years, I slowly realized that I was pretty good at it and I could jump pretty high. At her peak, Ava could jump nearly four feet in the air. Her videos grew popular and she quickly became the face of the trend. I'm different and I'm okay to like express myself, but Dude, there was definitely a couple times this when is... I was gaining a lot of followers and getting a lot of feedback from people where I did have some doubts about, is this okay, maybe I should stop. No, you should stop, this is... But naysayers never got her down. Her self-confidence rising alongside her fame. Being able to post myself on the internet how is this news? How are they? Especially doing this such like a weird hobby with my name and face all over the internet. I just really show me that's okay to be different. She'll be featured in the it's latest okay book to be by different. Ripley's Believe It or Not, a celebration you, of the extraordinary. Are you out of your mind, Everyone dude? Everyone has their quirks. Everything has something strange they embrace. And the no. people that we work with no. really just want to share that. But and I no. Think it's really great because it also... You know, let's other people trying so hard to make this sound like it's cool. Feel and she's like, I can't believe I'm on a Zoom talking about a girl that was jumping over. Comfortable with their own weird side as well. This unconventional hobby has even helped the teen find her career path. It's given me a love for exercise and a love for movement. Uh, in school, Whoa. I started to get really interested in kinesiology and biomechanics, and I hope to pursue that as my career. And for Ava, Dude, There's no better feeling than it, walking your own path. It, oh, <laughs> God, I hate when news, I hate when news reports end with some punny shit like that. Learn how to have like, an open mindset towards new things like this and not to be afraid to express yourself and show that you're different. Morgan Black. This is, this is, this is honestly the bad side of embracing people and being like, be who you are. Now, honestly... Be who you are. Do whatever. But this is not a unique talent. This is someone trying to mimic a horse and then jumping over some shit. Which, but dude, by the way, she she's not jumping high. If you watch her walk up to these Became things, the face. Of if, if she's like, she's like, okay, look, she she runs up to these things, right? And then it's like she jumps over. Um, her waist. Ow! I literally just bit my lip. I'm so upset. Her waist is the height of the thing that she's jumping over. So all she's doing is like is like just pushing her waist over and then pulling her legs over. She's not like she's not jumping. She's not making her legs go from the ground up to four feet vertically. She's do she's going like this. That's oh dude, it's I'm not explaining this well. But at her peak, Ava could jump. Okay, watch this. Four watch this. Watch this. Watch. Okay. It, this is what I'm going to. This is what I'm, this is what I'm, how I'm gonna explain it. So right here, her, her like her sacrum, her pelvis is like I don't know. Let's say four inches below the thing she's jumping over, right? Ava she runs up. Four she starts to rear up and then jumps over the thing right four feet in the air really i mean actually her ass is pretty high after that i'm not gonna lie mm. that shit's maybe two feet okay you know what this is still this is you know i'm, I'm looking at this again this is actually harder than i think but still this is her videos grew popular, and she quickly became the face. There's of the no trend. way this is good for your body, also, right? Horses are made completely different. There's no way she's like I'm. A, I'm studying kinesiology. Well, what she's going to study is that she fucked up uh, her elbow joints and her shoulders, and probably her back as well by by running and galloping like this because that's not how human biomechanics are made for. I'm okay for. to like express myself, but there was definitely a couple times when I was gaining a lot of followers and getting a lot of feedback from people where I. I mean. The, I don't like I would try to do this but this is this is so fucking weird. I mean I love how weird it is. I love that there are people actually doing this, but this also shows like how 
this shows how much people want to be different. Like at her peak, Ava could jump nearly four feet in the air. This is so her stupid. I'm sorry. I'm just she... trying so hard to be like, yeah, go for it. But this is like quickly became the face of the trend. I'm different. I'm okay to like express myself. Yeah. But... Uh, stop making it about expressing yourself and being different and like everyone's on their own path. That's not what this is. There's... There was definitely a couple times when I was gaining a lot of followers and getting a lot of feedback from people where I did have some doubts about. Oh, so where are they this interviewing okay. her? Go inside. They're interviewing her outside her like apartment with some stucco wall in the back, and you can hear the cars going by. I I should stop. But naysayers never got her down. Dude. Her self-confidence rising alongside her fame. It's literally a stick. It, this is the, one of the things she's jumping over is a stick between two small glass tables that I could easily step over that. God, imagine if this was your daughter. Internet, especially doing this such like a weird hobby with my name and face all over the internet. I certainly show me that's okay to be different. She'll be featured in the latest book by Ripley's Believe It or Not, a celebration of the extraordinary. Dude, if I open Ripley's Believe It or Not and I open to this page, I would go... We're done today. We're, well, that's me closing the book. I'm done with Ripley's. Throws it across the room. Everyone has their quirks. Everything has something strange they embrace. No, no. Oh, dude, this is this is what makes people look at. This is what makes those people that are like, oh, society's gone too far. We're embracing everything too much. And then they. They utilize that to then go after things that actually should be okay and that we should be embracing and being okay with. Like, dude, do whatever you want. But this is not the thing to push to the top and say, everyone has their quirks. You can do whatever. You can gallop like a horse. No. I mean, you can, but also, no, you can't. Okay? That's just some, that's some shit that before you'd be like, that's some weird shit Sally does. And that was it. And you know what? It was great. And no one should be getting down on her for it. But it's like, that's, she's legit a horse girl. She like, this is the horse girl. No one else. Okay. No one that likes horses. And I could jump pretty high. At her peak, Ava could jump nearly four feet in the air. Her videos grew pop. I just. Could jump nearly four feet in the air. It, I'm like so confused how sh if this is hard or not, though. Videos grew popular nearly I'm four turning this, I, I mean, like, she like stands up while she's doing it. I'm sorry, this is just so. No, I mean, her. No, here's why it's not as hard, dude, because half of her body is, dude, half of her body is already over the thing when she jumps and she's pushing her head forward. So she's using the momentum and then just kicking her legs and her, yeah, 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 that's what it is, dude. She's kicking her legs and the back part of her ass and shit over it to make it go higher, but. Dude, if you showed this shit to like a real Olympic long jumper or high jumper, they'd be like, what? They'd be like, what the fuck? What is this? Showed it to a real athlete, but they, but the person that gets, that gets fourth place doesn't get featured in the Olympics. But then this chick gets her, her shit put in the Guinness World Book of Records. That's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. That's the bad part of the internet. That's the bad part of people like trying to be trying to be famous and everything and just and, like trying to be their own person, or whatever. That's the bad part of it. Now, here's the good part of it, okay? Here's what we're gonna end on, okay? What we're gonna end on is I, I hope you guys have seen this video. Okay. It's the guy skateboarding with the ocean spray. You've seen this, you've seen this food, right? I got I got to find the original video. So someone sent this to me like I think three ocean spray. Someone sent this to me like three week like three weeks ago I think, and I sent it to one of my. Um, Can you say we want your
Okay. So it's some guy on a skateboard with just an ocean spray bottle, no cap on, and he's just he's just skating on what looks like the side of a highway. And it's got Fleetwood Mac in the background. Oh, fuck, I wouldn't get I don't get taken off YouTube for this. Whatever. I'll pause it. So so he's like skate so this is the important part. So he's he's skating. Let's look at the full video. I don't give a fuck, dude. Demonetize me, YouTube. I don't give a shit right now, okay? Let's get me big enough to where that matters. But right now, who cares? So he's going, he's skating. He looks like he's coming off an off-ramp. He takes a, a drink of it. And he must know, he must hear the song because he gets down on the board and he looks right... Dude, he just looks right at the camera and starts singing along with this Fleetwood Mac song. And dude, this is the epitome of the vibe you want. This is when it's like, what's the vibe I want? You want this guy, dude. He's just chilling. He's enjoying life. He's, en he's enjoying his drink. And he's just cruising on a board and listening to a song that he loves. And then when the chorus hits... Or whatever this is called, the hook. And he just is singing it and having a good time. And he points at the camera and he's like, I love you all. And he, dude, he's just pointing around. It's amazing, dude. It's fucking amazing. And I saw it and I was like, dude, this is the perfect vibe. Now, that shit went viral on TikTok. And went viral like all over the place. And it came out that this dude lives in Idaho in a like RV in his brother's front yard with his daughter. Half the time he doesn't have running water. He has to go into his brother's house, dude. And he works at some potato farm or some shit, right? What is he? He the reason so the reason he was skateboarding was because he was going to work and his car broke down on the um on the way to work. Which by the way apparently doesn't isn't that uncommon for him? Because it's like uh, Apodaca, Apodaca's Durango has more than 300,000 miles on it. Sometimes I'll be, I'll be driving and it just shuts off. And I'll only go back and get it. I'll only go back on if I get a jump. So he just had his board with him because he's always just cruising. He's just a foo. And he's all about it. And he, so he skateboarded to work. And he just recorded this video. And then decided to post it online. And that shit went viral. Um, all of a sudden, Dreams from Fleetwood Mac went to number one in the iTunes top ten. That's crazy, dude. That shows you how crazy um, how, how crazy social media is. That this video can just make a song all of a sudden be bought like like so many people made money off of this dumb video like not not dumb but this great video that he made but like that he just posted on social media and, and never expected anyone to care about his name is also dogface420 which is so funny this guy smokes up all the time i love it he loves getting high um and then ocean spray bought him a new truck a cranberry red truck and gave him like six pallets worth of ocean spray cranberry juice, open, o ocean spray cran raspberry. And he he said he has a long he has an argument that cran raspberry is better than the um, cran pomegranate, which I think I agree with. Yeah, he goes it's that tartness, it's the sweet that sweetness. This guy fuck fucking kills it. It's so funny, dude, because he's like coming out of his he's coming out of his RV. And he's like, you, you know what's great? You can tell this guy doesn't really give a shit about being famous. Like, all this shit is coming to him, and he's still just like, what the hell? And then he gets this truck, and he's just like, oh, shit. No way. Like, this is mine? No way. Whoa. And he just keeps saying, like, what the hell? What the hell? And then he recorded another one of him in the, in the, in the truck, drinking again. But the but the audio's off, which which kind of ruins it. But um, 
Still so tight. I mean, look at him with all these ocean cranberries. I mean, that's not a palate full. It's, it's like, I don't know, 50 bottles. I mean, it's a lot, but should have probably sent him more juice. They should just they should just give him like um, a lifetime supply. And he's got a Sector 9 board. board. Hell yeah, this guy fucking... He cruises, dude. He crushes it. He tears it up. He carves, fool. He fucking carves, fool. And then someone posts a video of a guy getting hit by a bus on Twitter. Like, I mean, why, dude? Why, why do you got to ruin this wholesomeness? But apparently he almost didn't post this shit. Nathan Apodaca. If you guys want to follow him, it's um, just look up Nathan Apodaca. I think it's... Uh, Dude, he's got a manager now. He li he lives in Idaho Falls. Maybe that's Ohio. Not where is Idaho Falls? No, it did not know. Fucking idiot. Idaho Falls. Yeah, it's probably in Ohio. So dumb. Yeah, 420 dog face. And the guy from Fleetwood Mac reposted it, made his own one. And this dude's so old. There's no way he's on an actual skateboard. Or he, he, he must be on a scooter, dude. He looks like he's about to fall. And this dude kills it. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's tight. Travis Scott said he's going to have Apodaca do a video for his new album. I mean, good for him, dude. This is like the one time that posting a video like this, and you know what it is? He wasn't trying. He was just, he was, he was trying. Here's what he was trying to do. Spread good vibes, man. And guess what? He spread them, and the universe was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give back. And then now he's... Gonna record some shit for Travis Scott, and he has a new car, and hopefully gonna make money, and he has a, an agent or as a as a manager. And of course, the manager's like, influencers go viral all the time, but it's rare to see someone get so much attention. We don't think Nathan is going away anytime soon. Yeah, you say that, dude. And then in in three weeks, you'll treat him like shit and stop answering his calls because no one wants him anymore. But that's how the industry is, uh, dude. So. The day following Apodaca's post, sales for Dreams were up 184%. Shazam said it had seen a 1,137% spike. Went number 18 on Spotify. That's crazy. Damn, he received 20K in donations. And he gave five to his mother and bought his dad a truck. Like, goddamn, dude. He's just a homie. He wants to get a house for his family. And he's, leave, he's leaving the potato factory for now. Wow. I mean, good for him, dude. I guess I guess uh, keep trying. Keep trying to spread the vibe. I, I guess that's the point of this is like just keep trying to spread the good vibes, dude. Keep trying to be positive. I and mean, we, we, we close out the show always with, with saying... Um, Oh wait, I I want so oh so we so we recorded it here. I'll, we'll finish in this just enough time. I wanted to get it done. He he skateboarded down. You he literally skateboarded down the highway. He pulled out his phone, made the now famous video in one take. He arrived. He had just enough time to upload it. Um, he says I wanted to get it done before that because if they see me on my phone at work, I'll get sent home like it's fucking school. Uh, there's only one. Oh, there's other people online. It's my turn. I look down at the clock. I see I have two minutes two minutes and I watched it one more time and I'm going slow and I'm like man I'm usually going fast and making it look risky and whatnot so I look at it and I'm like maybe I should just delete it and he goes I almost turned around and almost didn't do it and he but then he but then he believed in himself dude and he's like I could always delete it later and then fucking after his second break he had two million views on it and, and that's that's where it went so dude the the end of this the, that's what this podcast is about dude we went all over the place today, but I'm always proud of what we do. I'm always proud. This is a Sunday hangover edition one. This is a Sunday sleepover hangover edition. And th the point of this show is spread the good vibes. 
okay? Keep believing in yourself, all right? And don't second guess yourself. Post that shit. You can always delete it later. Just tell yourself that. I mean, unless it's something incriminating or against the law, obviously. Don't, don't do that. But besides that, you can always delete it later, man. Okay? And with that, Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for supporting the show. Shout out to Brandy for spreading the love on Twitter. Okay. Shout out to all of you other guys who have sent me positive feedback on the show in general on Instagram. I love all of you for doing that. It really feels good to hear that from you guys. Keep it up. Let's keep this show growing. Send in topics you guys want me to talk about. If you do, you can DM them to me, whatever you want. Okay. As always, I love you all. Stay safe, stay sane, okay? Spread the love, spread the good vibes. We'll talk to you soon, psychos.